What is up, my bitch? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. Coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, we are fishing the Wild Wild West with the one and only, the Henry's of Ninja. Nobody else wanted to go today. We asked like four or five different people and everybody was like, nah, nah. We asked Cody boy, you know what his excuse was? I heard it's slow, so I don't want to go. So you know what? I need all the thumbs up we can get today. We're gonna slam, we're gonna kill it today. Just to show Cody boy. I'll go show you. <laughs> but uh, we're about to get lures out. Just me and Harry today. With any good fish trip, you know the deal. You gotta feed the sea god. Tell you what, that sea god, he loves his musubi. All right, musubi mafia, let's get this in the water. And this was for you, Cody boy. Shoulda came, Cody boy. Shoulda came, Cody. I get something, you gotta give something. Let's get it. Sun is popping. Are you drinking the lures? We gotta check the lures because we got old old last time. On the long rigger, we're gonna run something new. It's a seven inch reverse in a dirty monkey color with shell, abalone shell. So we run that. We're running the ice blue, the Henry special right there. A short rigger. The long rear, automatic, the monster mat, the nine inch ice blue jet. A milky, another seven inch jet. And then I don't know what else Henry's gonna run. He has a- Something big. A tray of mystery. I think we should go for this one today. No, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> dealing, with, I'm not dealing with a Marlin today. We got, we're fishing a tournament, Nick. Yeah, today we're fishing our, 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 our small little book club tournament today, so. So old guys versus young guys. We have to beat the old guys. So old fucks. it's old fucks versus young punks and it's a total weight tournament. So what do you do for the young guys today? You want that four inch jet school short. And then uh, you want that up. dirty monkey on the center. Yep. You want a dirty monkey on the center when I cut the eye last week's video. And this one. Yeah, with a four hole scoop running short, uh, short corner. All right, we'll get the lines in the water and uh, We'll see you guys shortly, boys and girls. All I know is you should have came, Coney. Should have came. Lightning strikes by my window. It's my chest right in the morning. Like a warning. Could have slept here for days. All right, here we go, boys. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Big forecast calling for 15 to 20. Gusts to 20. You know, three or four foot sea swell. So overall, it should be a nice day. A little choppy, a little texture on the water is what we want. We don't want a totally flat day. Texture is a good thing. This is why you check your lures. This is why you check your lures. Yeah. That's a no-go. We almost put it out. We have to switch it. Ten hooks. All right, here we go for the dream. Yeah, baby, that's a real one. All right, so now I strike on the ice blue. This thing dumped my reel. I thought it was a big marlin. I don't know what it is. That was a good sized marlin. It didn't jump or nothing, but he dumped. Three quarters spool on the first initial run. And my drag is man tight. My drag is no fancy drag. My drag is tight tight. The lines went down like it's an eye. Hard to say. We'll see shortly. Hopefully. Thank goodness for this. Electric rig. <laughs>
I'll see you back in a bit. I don't know, I didn't I, I saw it break water, but I didn't see like a I saw it break water, but I didn't see what it was. Some Marlin, I hope it jumps soon. So I hope it starts jumping sooner than later. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The same thing I, think, Henry. <laughs> I don't want to jump in next to the boat. But that line is awfully high earlier. Still really high. It hasn't been, it hasn't broken water yet. We saw a little pop on the surface that came next to us. That like a mar kind of fall like a mar a little bit, but it's running down. But it's not jumping at all. So either it's supercharged up, which I don't like. Or maybe it's a big area, I don't know. And if it's a big marlin, we messed up because I left the bank stick bullets at home. I have a bank stick with no bang bang, so that doesn't help at all. See what happens. I always keep towels on the boat, especially for marlins. If you wrap a towel around a marlin's bill, it's gonna help it from scratching you or scratching a boat. And to me, it's more safety wise. The marlin's bill has so much bacteria. You don't want to get scraped with it. It's asking for an infection. It looks like a marlin. Yep, look like a marlin. 150. That looks real big. He's dark though. He looks like he's dead already. See his color? He's not dead, but you see how dark he is? Keep going, keep going, can you always get back off there? Yeah? Okay, yeah, back it off. Go in. Okay? Yeah. Now wait. The gas, the gas right there. Oh my god. No, bottom and down. Bottom and down. Okay. Okay. Right. One, two, three. Yep. You know he's running weird. It's in his eye socket. Huh? In his eye socket. It's in his eye socket? Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, nice in the boat. We're on the board. Let's get it now. What about 150? Yeah. All right, so let's get him ready to get put away. We're gonna put him on ice now. So he bit on the tie change. He bit on the tie change. That's why I said the tie changes are important. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually get this guy cleaned up and put him away. We wanna make sure we get the lines back out though before we do it, because you don't waste time with no lines in the water. You can't catch fish on the couch and you can't catch fish with no lines in the water. Right, Henry? Yep. Well, Pony dotted us. He said we we're gonna catch under 100 pounds today. And 745, we doubled that already. Shoulda came, Cody! Shoulda came, Cody! You should've got your first Marley since you only lose of you banana. <laughs> all right, with Marlins, you want a nice Marlin, you gotta ice them. You, ice, you don't ice your Marlin, it'll be all cracked and all ugly. All right, lots oh, yeah. of ice, want a nice quality Marlin. You take a quality fish, treat like a quality fish. Uh, that kills about 30 minutes, 40 minutes trying to put it away, but you know what? You're gonna kill something to take care of it. So, whew. here we go, boys and girls, for the dream. Let's go. Give it a thumbs up. Let Cody Boy in the comments know you should have camped, Cody Boy. Here we go, boys and girls. Let's go. Lots more birds flying in, too. We got a big bird pot. Yeah, we got a decently big bird pot in front of us. It's just off the inside lures, the smaller lures, some. Six inch bullets, some uh, five inch STDs. Um, how lucky like folks are, you know what I mean? The moon phase is really right for eye. Couple guys caught, but for how much boats there is, I don't feel like pulling a ticket and waiting around and driving around all day. And uh, hopefully, this pond has it. Oh, half a sit down a little bit. All right, boys and girls, here we go. Shoot a game, Cody boy. Everything off the jacket. It's gonna get serious, hopefully. Oh. 
Double. Double, Henry. Double it up. Not what we want. He's got bait. Why are we just to leave? He's got bait. Okay. Alright, good off. Good off, please. Two o'clock in the afternoon, one of the best bird piles so far today, big pile. Okay, yeah, just got into them. Get a good pass on them soon, see what happens. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're right on. Yeah. Oh, there's one on the other pole too, Henry. Huh? There's one on the other pole too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I see one back there. Oh yeah. Those birds have, I guess those birds have run off these inside. I get this question often. Where do you get your fishing gear from? And a simple answer for me is highfishgear.com. I use raw five at checkout. I get 5% off. Super fast, extremely fast shipping. I ordered this yesterday. It came in today. You can't beat it how fast these guys ship. Local Hawaii company ship all around the United States, all around the world. They ship to Guam. They keep a lot of stuff in stock that you can't find in other places. The best price on fluorocarbon leader line. If you want to get those real adventures, lucky fishing hats, this is the place to do it. Check them out. Links are in the bow. Links for all the stuff I use are also in the bow. iFishGear.com. Support the dream. Unbelievable, guys. Thank you to Bill and the crew as always. Check them out. 20 minutes later. To the knock on the short corner. What's that down here? Yeah. I wonder if something did it though. So kind of funny a little bit. Oh no? What do No, Aku. Aku. Look at the big look. Look like a Santi Bondo. Yep. Pretty good in the blind. Take that. Take that. My like hand is little seven inch ice blue. Ooh. Yeah, you nice one. What about 16 centi bottom? We'll take that, that'll do. Look at the blind, wow. That's a weird one, huh? You got the bat? Yeah. Hit the initial hit and that was it, huh? Huh? The initial hit and that was it, huh? Come 
Okay, to my mice, that late bikes turned out to be pretty good. Pretty good, Henry. Not too shabby. <laughs> Not too shabby. Hmm, go back around, check it out. Went back around to look where the Mai Mai was. Like, now you have a rubbish. There's a cargo net, a giant cargo net. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to drive down away from this freaking thing. I don't want to put my lines on it. Got it? Yeah, you. Oh, big cargo net, Henry. Dreams are made of. Well, super nice rubbish. We're able to get four mines off of it. Well, five. You caught the one that we first got. We pulled up. But somebody must have been earlier because there ain't. There's a, there's only a couple left on it. They're kind of shy. So, so two small lures. I'm gonna try my lures again because they're super finicky and it's late. This, being this late, you can't see into the water, it's hard. You want to be able to see them, man. We can't see them. It's so dark right now. Can't see into the water. So we're gonna make a pass by it. See if we get lucky. I had big marks on the recorder to put on the stick, but I'm not getting any big marks on the recorder. We'll see, we'll do a pass right next to it. We'll see what's up. You definitely want to get down. That's a big boy. That's a big one. Oh, there's two back there, three back there, four back there. One of them got it, I think. Got it, yeah. There's four or five back there. There's a bunch back there. Oh, small one. Nope. Nice one. Some big ones, Henry. Yeah. That's some big ones. It's getting too dark already. I think we pulled eight, maybe nine miles off this rubbish. It is hard to see. We found it literally about an hour and 20 minutes of daylight. Super overcast, does not help. Uh, so we're just gonna drag a couple lures and see if we can snag a few more with a couple lures. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. <laughs> See it. Oh Yeah, watch out. Got it? That'll do. Nice one. That's all you need, your eye head. You gotta clean this with me, baby. Small one, if you go small, you get the tossing, just be careful. Another Ono. Nice one. Another Ono, Henry. This is what I call never give up. 7.55 and Henry still had one line out. He's like, ah, we're not done till we're done. It's not too bad. Last hour and a half of the day we found that rubbish. We tried to bait them. But someone's was working out, so we trolled them. It worked. But uh, got some my mys, pull my mys, and twirled off of it. We lost the last drag. I think it was probably a good size shivy. Oh, that's what you got is. That might be a shivy, Henry. The lure came back clean when the camera died. But uh, about well, 10 more miles to go home. We're gonna put these guys away and uh, we'll see you guys on the offload. Not bad yesterday. Marlin, Otaru's, Ono's, Vaimai's. Not bad. Should have came, Cody. You come after the fact. Should have came. <laughs> Muster Matt, kid for most support. Kamikaze Mark's here. Roy Boy's here. He's a fisher dive nowhere. He still has gear. He has a girlfriend now, so he's not allowed to go anywhere. <laughs> we ended up taking third in the tournament with our Marlin, which was 166 pounds. And we also won the side pot with our Aku or our Otaru, which was 21 pounds. Overall, we ended up with about 340 pounds of fish total. And I'm glad to say the young punks beat up the old guys yet again. So thanks to the old guys for putting up an epic fight, but maybe next year. I guess that's it for this week. I'll see you guys next week. We have a super epic eye video coming up. As always, guys, tight lines, sea fishing, we'll see you on the water, under the water. What Hello, about everyone. the fish? You want this fish from the sea? The water's too murky, too hard to see.
and the farmer man. 